how to convert feet and inches to inches in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you an excellent way to convert feet and inches to inches in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. Take a look at this workbook. We have feet and inches in column A and we want to convert it to only inches in column B. Okay. And to do this, I'm going to use formula and I'll be using different function inside that formula and I hope you'll understand it and I am sure you'll like it. So let's understand the concept first. If we want to convert feet and inches to inches, we need to do a few things. First, we need to remove all the feet and inches symbol. Then we need to convert this 5 feet to inches, which we can do by multiplying 12 with it. And then we need to extract the inches and add it with the calculation. We're going to extract 5 feet like this. And then we are going to multiply it by 12 and it will give us the inches. And then we need to extract the 9 also, then add it to this calculation and we'll get our inches but we are going to do it in a smart way and let's learn how we can do it first let's extract the feet part okay so in this cell formatting we have five and then we have our feet sign with an apostrophe so if somehow i can extract everything to the left of the apostrophe we'll have our feet simple as that for that i'm going to use the left function and this is the text from where I want to extract. Now it is asking me how many characters I want to find. Here we have our feet in single digit like I have here 5 feet 9 inch but what if I had 15 feet 9 inch. So we cannot be sure how many characters we have for our feet. So if I add a calculation here if I find out where is our feet symbol or the feet apostrophe is and everything left of it should be extracted we can do that. I'm going to add comma for number of characters we are going to first find out where we have our feet sign which is our apostrophe here for that i'm going to use the find function okay now we can see returns the starting position of one text string within another text string and find is case sensitive so i'm going to double click here find i'm going to find text what i'm going to find is within double quotation i'm going to add the apostrophe so this is what I'm going to find, which is our fit symbol here. Okay. And I'm going to find it within this cell. Okay. Now I'm going to close parenthesis. And there is another thing. If I extract to the point where we have our fit symbol, it will also extract it. Let me show you and then we can use further calculation. So let's close the parenthesis again. So we have our five feet here. And if I deduct one from it and close parenthesis, we have only the feet. So if we had here 105 feet, I can extract it here. Okay. It doesn't matter how many digits we have before the feet sign. I can extract it with this simple function. Okay. Now, if I multiply this with 12, we have our inches. Okay. Now, let's keep it simple. Okay. So we have extracted our 5 feet from this cell value and we have multiplied it 12 and we have our inches and now we need to extract the inch part from this cell and we need to add it with this 60 okay let's extract the inch part here then we are going to copy it and paste it after this okay so here let's write equal to now we need to extract everything after the feet sign so we can get our feet sign with this part okay find so here if i double click here so our feet sign is at the second character so if i add here meet function and meet function extract from the middle and our text should be this cell and our starting number will be which one after the feet sign that means our feet sign or apostrophe is here and if i add plus one it will start extracting from the third character in this cell because first one is our feet the second character is the apostrophe which is our feet sign that we can extract using this find formula and then if we add one it will extract everything after the feet sign okay and now if i add comma it is asking how many character we want to extract i can write here 12 or i can write here 100 or let's count the total cell character and give it the, our highest number so you don't have to worry about how many digits you have in this cell so for that i'm going to use the len function 
double click here and select this cell close parenthesis okay now if i close parenthesis and press enter we get our nine which is our inch and but problem is we have our inch symbol also so if i substitute this double click here this is the text add comma our old text will be substitute for quotation okay now if i add comma and we give double quotation and close parenthesis if i press enter our inch sign has been removed so if i now copy this part why did i copy it because i want to sum up this two number this will give me feet and inch to directly inch so if i add plus here and paste the formula if i press enter now we have our inches okay we don't need this if i double click here we have our clean inches here so this is our feet and inch and we have converted to inch this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching and if you need the formula please check the video description